this month, delegates gather for another SADC summit here in Harare, Zimbabwe. Following the footsteps of our founding fathers, the regional leaders, visionaries who paved the way for cooperation and development. Now I am currently Gwendi, and I welcome you to the story of the SADC Founding Fathers, a group of individuals who have shaped the craft, chart, and art of African history, bringing together their remarkable leadership skills and visionary power. We take a look at their contributions as well as the lives they have changed through their stories. Now, as the regional summit draws to a close, we honor, celebrate, and salute the lives of these founding fathers and their immense contributions. Julius Nyerere, Tanzania's first president, was a key member of the formation of SADC and of course a proponent of African socialism and unity. He played a role with regards to Tanzania's independence itself and was the first host in 1980 of the SADC summit. Some of the problems we are now handling in Africa, some of the mess we're trying to clean up in the continent, we have inherited. The, the mess of the borders we have inherited. Kenneth Kaunda, Zambia's first president, was also a SADC founding member. He played a vital role with regards to Zambia's independence and also was key with regards to the African liberation movement. God is hearing me. I can never sell out Africa. Never. Not me. Not these boys here. Not these girls here. We are men and women of principle. We have done all these things in search of peace. But it has to be genuine peace based on sincere, genuine majority rule. Anything else, you can kill us. Zambians will be born out of our blood. We'll continue to fight. Now on to Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's first president, who was also very vital with regards to regional cooperation as well as economic development. He also served as the SADC chairman and also did it very well. Carrington wanted us to uh, uh, decide on our own that uh, no, we had had enough, we won't agree with this and we'll quit. But uh, no, we knew that strategy. Samora Michelle who was Mozambique's first president, played a key role with regards to ensuring that regional policies were maintained. He was also a founding member of the SADC. Colonialism is a crime against humanity. There is no humane colonialism. No ha colonialismo democrático. There is no democratic colonialism. No ha colonialismo no explorador. There is no non-exploitive colonialism. Seretse Kama, Botswana's first president, remains an inspiration in the upper echelons of making sure that cooperation and regional policies were maintained as a founding father of the SADC. I wish to say that um Sadly disappointed with the, with the undemocratic decision of the British government in exiling me from my country. Before I left my home, I was given an assurance by the British representatives there that I would be allowed to return. The worst I expected after the judicial inquiry was that I would be officially recognized as chief, but with a gradual adoption of council assistance. The step now taken will lead to the disintegration of the tribe 
and will have serious repercussions in the African continent and throughout the colored world. I'm sure the British public and all right-thinking people will not tolerate such injustice. To me, and more grievously, to my suffering people who have always been loyal to the British Crown and believed in British justice. Hastings Kamuzu Banda, Malawi's founding father as well as a first president. He did play a very vital role with regards to the formation of SADC. At the same time, he promoted regional cooperation and ensuring issues were addressed within the region and ensuring that Malawi stands strong as an independent nation. Will you walk out of this conference every time you hear something you don't like? Make your own inference. You think I'm here? I told you when I came here that I came here only because of Mr. McLeod. And the minute I see that the whole thing is just repeating this same trash, all trash about economics and social this and that, I don't have time to waste here. My people want me home. Do you understand me? Right now, they want me back home in Yasaland. Much more important things to do than listen to trash like that. Now, King Sobuza II of the Swaziland played a key role with regards to peacekeeping and ensuring that many nations that experienced conflicts amongst each other had their issues resolved. Another founding father who left a lasting legacy. Now on to Augustino Neto, who was a founding father of the SADC, the first president of Angola, who used his very critical diplomatic skills to ensure that backgrounds and interests of separate countries were brought together into one voice. Now King Moshosho the second the king of Swaziland, a founding father of the SADC, who ensured that there was regional cooperation and also ensured that his diplomatic skills were applied in the times of traditions, values and interests that were all put together to make the SADC. <laughs> 